Hi, Edie 122 class. Um, I thought rather than um, writing out a bunch of information, I'd just record a little short video for you guys to watch. It's just as kind of a summary of the first four weeks of class um, as we embark on kind of the second half of the big project. A couple of things. Um, I am a little behind on grading. I apologize for that. I'll, I'm, I'm hoping to finish up week three today. Um, like everyone, life gets in the way sometimes, and I've had some sick kids, so it's put me a little behind. So I apologize for the delay in getting your grades back to you. Um, again, that should be finished today or tomorrow. Um, the second thing is the pow tune assignment. So the instructional video that you guys will be completing for this course um, is one of the big assignments, um, and it should be an instructional video used or created using Powtoon, um, which the links are in your syllabi. Um, but I've moved the due date back till December 2nd, and this is to give you guys plenty of time to work on it, uh, to make a high quality instructional video, um, and to not have something due uh, during, right before Chris, or right before Thanksgiving break or right after Thanksgiving break. Um, I know I'm also in classes now too for grad school and I don't wanna do a work during Thanksgiving, so I'm assuming you guys don't wanna do work during Thanksgiving, so I'm pushing that due date back till December 2nd. Um, that being said, I will not accept any late work for this activity. So please finish your Powtoon um, and get it submitted by December the 2nd. If you want to work on it ahead of time, great. But otherwise, um, it's due by December the 2nd. Um, the last thing is this week's topic is flipped classrooms. Um, our week four topic is flipped classrooms. And I just wanted to um, start this conversation. I was sort of looking through discussion posts so far. And a flipped classroom is not an online classroom. Um, there is a difference. You all are online students, and that's great. You can take a course completely online. But the traditional model or the accepted model of a flipped classroom is actually instruction taking place at home. Usually the lecture content um, done through a video or some other mode um, is consumed at home. And then the faculty, the professor, teacher assists the student with homework during the class period. So it's the flip of the content. Normally a teacher would lecture for an hour and then send you home with homework problems to do on your own. This model flips that, so you take the lecture content home, you consume that on your own, and then when you're doing the actual hands-on work, the teacher is there to assist you. This model has um, seemed to be very effective, especially in mathematics courses and things like that, where um, the teacher can actually show you the hands-on process of how to work through a problem, rather than just lecturing about the material and sending you home. It doesn't fit every discipline, um, but I wanted to clear up that misunderstanding it's not just watching videos. Um, there is a definite, definite instructional component to a flipped classroom if it's done correctly. Um, I think the term is being used more often for online classes and things like that, but that's not really accurate. Um, anyway, so just um, take that bit of information as you look through this week's readings and you work on your discussion post. Um, and again, we have the activities. Oops. Sorry. Um, the activities for week four you have your discussion post, and then you have an online activity to look at some examples of flipped classroom videos, and that's gonna be it for this week. Um, we do meet during week five during that Thanksgiving week, so make sure that you, again, do your discussion post. Um, you have a kind of a fun activity called the Hour of Code that will be due next week, um, so take a look at those. But your big project, the video, the Powtoon video, is not gonna be due till December 2nd. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, bye.